It's Father Bill again, and it's, uh, well, I'm recording this once again on my vacation uh, because I don't have time to do that on the Friday that you're going to see this, so I just thought I'd throw it to you first. I'm in Prineville Reservoir right now. As you can see, it's quite low, and there's very few people here. In fact, most of these sites that are here, there I am in the back right there, and my sister, she's uh, right there, I think. Anyhow, so, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, very low here. You can see how far the water's dropped. It's like at 30% level. <sighs> so this weekend, we're going to talk about trust. Trust in God, ultimately, and trusting each other. Do we trust ourselves? The thing that erode away, there's erosion right there, things that erode away our trust is when we've been scammed or lied to, made fun of, excluded. And that's no fun. And every time that happens, it just chips away one bit after another bit with our confidence, our sense of who we really are, that we are children of God. We are sons and daughters of our beloved Father in heaven. Where are you on this? Where's your trust level? John Paul II once said that the hermeneutic of suspicion is the antithesis of life. I know that's a big word, but the hermeneutic, a hermeneutic is a, a way of, of looking at life. Some people think of life half full, some half empty, some they're always in trouble or they're suspicious, and that's the hermeneutic of suspicion. You may know of somebody like that or people like that. Maybe maybe we're like that sometimes where when we hear something, we don't take it at face value. In fact, often we don't trust it at all. I know that with a pandemic that's happened, that's something that a lot of trust has been eroded. We need to just keep remembering who is the one we put our trust in. Is it yourself? Is it others? Well, we hopefully can trust some of these things, right? Hopefully we are people of integrity and we can trust that God also has given us good minds to think about what reality is. Hopefully our friends tell us the truth when we need to. Do you have a friend like that? Or do you have friends that are always telling you what you want to hear? Those are the ones that we need to be most cautious about. Ultimately, we need to trust God. He's got a plan for you and for me. And sometimes there's going to be dry land. Sometimes our prayer life or things that are going on with us are going to seem like a desert. Other times, God is going to refresh us. I actually I haven't jumped in the water yet. It's so low. I actually, I got here at Primeville. It's 102 degrees. It's about 2 o'clock. And I just went into the showers over there and with all my clothes on here, just jumped in the shower. What is your... Where's your, your trust? Again, the scripture is that where our treasure lies, there our heart is. I pray, my friends, that you and me, we would have our hearts in the right place, that our treasure would be uh, with our Lord, with Jesus, who is the one that's come to save us. And that no matter what happens to you, no matter what goes on, that you would be always looking to see signs where God is and how he's going to help you. He's always trying to help us. He's always there to be with us. He's our shepherd. Even though we walk through a dark valley, Jesus reminds us not to fear anymore. Fear no evil. Even though we lay a banquet before our, our enemies, we should love our Lord and even love our enemies, which is really hard. So may the refreshing water of grace, imagine me just throwing myself in the shower, come upon us all. And let's think about what's going to happen this weekend. The Lord is going to give us himself in the Eucharist. We're going to hear him in his word. Will we have our ears open to hear his word? Will our hearts, our souls be thirsting and hungry for his Eucharist, for his very presence, his body, blood, soul, and divinity? I hope so. Well, I better get out of this sun because I'm going to become one crispy critter. 
uh, signing off, and I'll see you this weekend. God bless you all. Bye-bye.